What's up, Mets fans? Welcome back. Talking Mets and Rob. How's everybody doing? Before I get started about the Mets pitching options uh, in free agency, don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash on that like button. And if you enjoy all my content, all my videos, and want to see more and more and more, hit that subscribe button, and you'll get all the notifications when I post my videos, guys. All right, so what are the pitching options left on the market when it comes to starting pitches who are free agents? Three of them, Jake Odorizzi, Taiwan Walker, and James Paxton. I'm going to break down each pitcher, stats, projected uh, stats in 2021, and what could a contract look like. All right, guys, so when we get to the first pitcher, Jake Odorizzi, obviously he pitched for the Twins for the last couple of years, a uh, very durable pitcher. He also pitched for the Rays, very good pitcher. Uh, durable. He can pitch. He pitches innings. Never a dull moment with uh, Jake Odorizzi, but when it comes to Jake Odorizzi, I think he's the least of the Mets' priorities when it comes to the pitchers on the market between the three, James, pa James Paxton, Taiwan Walker, and Jake Odorizzi. So when it comes to Jake Odorizzi and his stats, as you already know, guys, I'm going over the last four years. In 2017, he was 10 and 8, 414 ERA. He pitched 143 innings, gave up 30 home runs, 61 walks, and he had 127 strikeouts. It's a good year, not great year, but in the American League, not bad. Really not bad. 2018, we're gonna get right into news. 28 years old, 7 and 10, 449 ERA. 164 innings, 82 earned runs, 20 home runs, and 162 strikeouts. Now, he's a good pitcher. We know that. Wasn't a really good year. His ERA went up a couple of points. But, again, Jake Odorizzi, 2018, not very good. Then we go on to 2019, 29 years of age, 15 and 7, 3.51 ERA, 159 innings. 62 earned runs, 16 home runs, 53 walks, 178 strikeout. He was an all-star this year. This was a pretty good year. This is one of his best years of his career. Obviously, he was an all-star. Pitched well for the Minnesota Twins. And then we look at 2020. He was 0-1, 659 ERA, started four games, 13 innings, get, uh, pitched tw had 12 strikeouts, four home runs. Again, I don't like to look at 2020 as an end-all, be-all, but 2019, only two years ago, he was an all-star. Can he be that pitcher again now than he was in 2019? I don't know. But at the end of the day, he was an all-star two years ago. But what it seems to be right now, the Mets don't seem very interested in Jake Odorizzi. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if they project him not to do very well. But – they seem like they're a little more focused on other pitchers in the free agent market or a possible trade. But to stick with uh, Jake Odorizzi, his projected numbers for 2021 are 6-5, and 4.31 ERA, 13 home runs, 36 walks, 98 strikeouts. Now, this is projected, projected stats. Obviously, it's not an end-all, be-all. These are... Guys who come up, baseball reference, who came up with the numbers based on past performances and what he can do now. Not great. It's not – I mean, can you lower the overall ERA if he comes in the National League? Yeah, you can – probably a couple of points. Maybe it would be around, uh, let's see, about a 4, maybe 3, 9 ERA. Not terrible. But, again, it's not something the Mets seem like they're looking for, but – at the end of the day, he is an option for the Mets. He might be a cheaper option for the Mets compared to the other two that I'm going to be talking about just now. So the next pitcher on the free agent market that the Mets are looking at is the left-hander James Paxson. We know him if you're if you're a New York Mets fan, you're living in the tri-state area, you hear about him with the Yankees. Obviously, he pitched for the Yankees the last two years. He's a really, really good pitcher when he's healthy, but he's really rarely healthy, guys. He doesn't pitch more than 160 innings. That's his career. That's what he has done. Never pitched higher than 160 innings. So 
it's a little um, confusing that the Mets could be probably involved, but maybe they are looking for a lefty to also come into this rotation with Peterson. And James Paxton is a, could be a really solid pitcher. A couple of times with the Yankees in playoff games and during the season, he was so dominant. But when he's healthy, he's dominant. But he's not healthy enough, and that's a major issue. But when we look at his stats, again, four years, the last four years starting in 2017, he was 12-5, and 2.98 ERA, he started 24 games, 136 innings, nine home runs, 36 walks, and 45 earned runs. This was a really good year, especially in the American League in Seattle. Very, very good year. Now, he was, for the most part, healthy. But again, he pitched 136 innings. Not what we're looking for. If we're going to have him as the third, fourth, fifth starter, or the fourth and fifth starter, we need innings out of those guys. So that's what we're looking for. Now we're going to go to 2018. 29 years old, 11 and 6, 3.76 ERA. He had two complete games in 28 starts. 160 innings. Home runs, 23. Walks, 42. Earned runs, 67. It was a pretty good year, solid year. But at the end of the day, he only pitched 160 innings. What are you looking for for a back of the end rotation type of guy? Innings. 180 to 200 innings, that's what we're looking for. He didn't do that. 2019, he was traded to the Yankees. 15 and 6, 3.82 ERA. 29 starts, 150 innings. 64 home runs, 23 home runs, and 55 walks. Pretty good year. He was in the NL East. Powerhouse offensive teams. Pretty good offensive teams in there. But he was in the American League still. 3.82 ERA. Good innings lowered from 160 to 150. Again, he doesn't pitch a lot. In 2020, let's take that with a grain of salt, but he was injured. He was 31 years old, 6.64 ERA, mostly because of the injury, but at the end of the day, he was injured. He did not pitch a lot. 20 innings, 15 earned runs, four RBI, four, four home runs, seven walks. James Paxton is an intriguing pitcher for the Mets to look at on the free agent market, but can we give him, say, a two-year deal and slot him into that fourth or fifth spot and expect him to pitch every fifth day, give you 170, 180 innings? I don't think so. And that's a problem. We need guys that can go out there every fifth day, give you innings, especially the guys in the back end of the rotation. It's the biggest problem that the Mets need and they have for many years. They didn't let their pitches get innings for them. And that hurt the bullpen. It hurt the team. So when we look at James Paxton, we're going to go right into his projected numbers from baseball references. Paxton's 2021 projections are as followed. 32 years old, 8 and 5, 4.32 ERA, 102 innings, 16 home runs, 38 walks, 120 strikeouts. Again, projecting 102 innings. That is not something the Mets need. The Mets need a workhorse in this rotation, in the back end. They need a guy who can go the 170, 200 innings without an issue. He might not have a great ERA, but we're looking for innings. We need somebody who can go out there, pitch a solid game, give it to the bullpen with a lead, and go from there. That's what we're looking for. Paxton is not that guy. Now, the guy that intrigues me the most out of all the pitchers on the free agent market, and between these three is Taiwan Walker. I really like Taiwan Walker. He's the guy I think the Mets have to go after. Solid pitcher. He pitched well with Toronto. He pitched well with Seattle. He's a good pitcher. And when it comes to Taiwan Walker, I think he can pitch you in. He can give you innings, and he can definitely make this team and this rotation better. Not the greatest pitcher in the world, but he is solid. So we're going to go right to his stats right now, starting from 2018. 3 4 6 ERA. He started only three games, 13 innings. 2019, he was injured. In 2020, 
He had a 270 ERA with the Toronto Blue Jays. He had 11 games started, 53 innings. Earned runs 16, eight home runs, 19 walks, and he had 50 strikeouts. Then he got traded to Seattle, or he went to Seattle, two and two, four ERA, 25 strikeouts, 27 innings, and you can see what he does here. Tyrone Walker is a good pitcher. He's a solid pitcher. This is what we're looking for. This is what we need in the back end of the rotation. When it comes to 2020 with Toronto, 1.37. He was excellent with Toronto when they when they acquired him. Very good sign in. Very uh, very good acquisition. Solid. 26 innings. Gave up three home runs. 11 walks. He made the Blue Jays better. It was apparent when they acquired him in 2020. It was an excellent job by the Blue Jays to get Tyron Walker. I think Tyron Walker is the best bet for the Mets between these three pitchers, and that's how I feel. I think Tyrone Walker can be get even better than what he's been doing. And when you looked at his projected numbers for 2020, at the age of 28, so that's another thing to look at. He's only 28 years old. He's still very young. Got a lot of miles on that arm. The ERA here and the win-loss record is 8-7, 3.82 ERA, 132 innings, 19 home runs, 51 walks, 130 strikeouts. Pretty good. Not bad at all. Solid guy. Solid pitcher, perfect for the back end of the rotation. Tyron Walker is the guy that I would look at for the Mets to go after a free agency. Now, with the pitchers that are on the free agent market, these three guys, Jake Arderizzi, James Paxton, and Tyron Walker. I feel Tyron Walker is the best bet to stay healthy and pitch solidly. Jake Arderizzi, he's, he's been healthy, but I don't think he's going to be as solid as Tyron Walker could be. And James Pax Paxson is probably the least expected to join the Mets. I just don't feel like it's worth giving him a contract, especially with the injury. Even though he has a lot of upside, it's a low risk, high reward. You probably can get him on a one-year deal as a show me type of contract. But at the end of the day, Tyron Walker is the guy that I want. I think the Mets should go after him. Now, it's possible that the Mets are looking into trades you know, when it comes to a pitcher and a third baseman. But at the, when it, we're just focusing on the free agent market, Tyron Walker is my guy. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, guys, smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content, more video, get notifications for my live streams, hit that subscribe button, guys. I want to thank you guys for all your support. And as always, let's go Mets.